One of the directions of CAMH's strategic plan, Vision 2020, is that we will revolutionize mental health care education here at CAMH. And the promise we associate with that is that at CAMH we will all learn and teach. Our simulation program will be the first of its type in North America. And when I came here about four years ago, it was, um, it was an idea I had um, looking around at um, you know, my work at the university, I could see how important simulation was in other medical specialties and, and that it was missing in mental health. In the area of the work that I do, people uh, do procedures, they perform treatments. The only way to get real experience doing uh, procedure is actually performing it. And we thought it'd be better to train people using simulation rather than training with patients first. We've created a course to train residents uh, to actually perform the procedure. We actually created a simulation, uh, simulated convulsive therapy session, and we created scenarios, and we had residents train on actually performing the procedure we used. By far the biggest piece of feedback that we get from students is they actually want more simulation time in the ECT suite, and that's something that we've taken to heart. So we've started off with just a little bit, and I think we'd like to, to grow that into being able to give people this hands-on chance more and more to become comfortable with these skills and carry it with them through their career. I think many of us know that our learners today are no longer learning in classrooms, they're learning from a range of media, online content, and the Simulation Centre through the Medical Psychiatry Alliance is a key vehicle to uh, move that forward. Over the past 20 years, we have had many advances, both on the physical side and the mental health side. But the care of those problems is not well integrated in our system. And the MPA is really trying to bridge the gap between the physical health system and the mental health system. The Medical Psychiatry Alliance is a partnership between the Center for Addiction and Mental Health, the Hospital for Sick Children, Trillium Health Partner, and the University of Toronto. The CAMH Simulation Center is meant to improve the quality of care that we're able to provide for our patients at CAMH. And not only that, we believe that it'll improve the safety of both our patients and our staff. What we're starting with is uh, using the simulation lab with the mannequins that we've purchased to give people the confidence that they're able to uh, correctly landmark four different uh, injection sites. So our preference is for ventrogluteal site, but we've found that when nurses who've been trained over the last five to ten years come to CAMH or when students come to CAMH, they've learned how to landmark this site but they don't see it in practice. So what we want is to identify this as best practice at CAMH and to give people the confidence about landmarking the site. We have uh, more than 25 video observation rooms you know, at our hospital and these are located right at the place where uh, patients are being cared for. So uh, these are being turned into rooms that you can, through video technology, record what you're doing, recreate it, practice, get feedback, and, and really not be removed from you know, where you're actually applying the new skill. At CAMH, we intend to lead in the development of simulation-based education for staff, for patients, for teams, and for communities.